Today we have a heat pump install of a Summerwave 70. We'll be fitting it to a spa with an independent circulation system, not a two speed. Here is the circ pump and the controller. We'll be disconnecting the internal heater and tapping the pipework from here. So the heat pump needs to be on the positive pressure side of the pump, not the suction side. So I'll be connecting into this pipe here and uh, spinning around 180 and running the pipework back through here, around this side here, down into the trench, up through and into the plumbing of the heat pump. So a little bit how this spa operates is that there is a filter box inside of the spa. The water comes from the filter box, it's picked up by the circulation pump and then pushed through the controller where the controller has the heater tube and two sensors in it which picks up the water's temperature then it is pushed back to the spa via the uh, return jets. Now um, with a heat pump being used you can leave the internal controller connect, uh, heater connected to the controller so you have the 7 kilowatts from the heat pump and the 3 kilowatts from the internal heater but for most efficiency it is recommended to disconnect the internal heater and the controller will pick up the water temperature um, and control the flow of the circ pump whether it's on and off and that will then control the heat pump whether or not there is flow um, the heat pump will stop if there is no flow the heat pump will start if there is flow brought those two pipes from the pump and the return to the controller over to these two vertical pipe, horizontal pipes here over to this valve assembly. Now in this current valve assembly's current configuration you could fill the spa um, and use these, control, these valves to control the flow. They are designed to control the flow for the heat pump from the circ pump and returning back to the controller. So the water coming from the, the circulation pump can travel up through this T-piece here, through this valve that is open, and return back to the spa. Now in the configuration for the heat pump, this valve would be closed, and these two valves would be opened, which would then stop the water from travelling up that pipe, and it would then pass out through the valve, out to the heat pump, from the heat pump, back to the valve, back to the spa. This configuration allows you to control the flow rate by, if you open this one, say 45%, sorry, to 45 degrees, then most of the water will travel through the plumbing to the heat pump and return to the spa from the heat pump, but it would allow a little bit of water to bypass and go back through, decreasing the flow to the heat pump. If you then wish to decrease it further, you can open it 100% and say trim the return line. This will then say send 75% of the water through here and only 25% of the water to the heat pump and then return to the spa. That all comes down to your heat pump settings and comes down to the ambient air temperature around it. Um, you can use these flow rates to control how well the heat pump operates. But in the meantime, we'll uh, leave it in this configuration so we can start filling the spa while I complete the uh, plumbing. With your Sunwave 70 heat pump package or above, you'll receive a few items with it when you unbox it. You'll get some feet in a bag and a length of tubing and this piece here. Now, also you'll get an instruction manual and a thermal cover just for when you want to protect it from the elements. 
these pieces are required to be fitted um, apart from the thermal cover the nipple piece here and this hose is very basic you just push the end of that into there and fit it like so and then that goes into the underside of the heat pump so this bit's a bit tricky and you have to do it before you bolt the heat pump to the ground but if you can see under here there is a hole that is the drainage hole this piece here push fits into there like so run that out the back that's just for condensation you also receive these pieces here they will not be fitted to the heat pump so it can fit in the box so that's very straightforward and self-explanatory can't fit them any other way threads can't fit, fit anywhere else this will fit a 40 mil pipe in here to be glued and same with your bottom pieces here the rubber feet supplied you need to put underneath the heat pump feet helps with vibration keeps the noise down Just sit them underneath and line the groove in the foot up with the foot like that so you can then dyna bolt down to the bricks do that for all four feet and it should be good now that I've completed the plumbing from in there for the diverter valve assembly I'll be running it from there outside of the cabinet through the trench to the fittings behind the heat pump there make sure you get the flow direction correct as the bottom pipe down here is the input and the top pipe here is the output they are labeled water out water in also note that when you're finding your um, heat pump position to leave enough access to be able to see this gauge here it is vital to the operation of the heat pump to make it um, efficient also leave access for the keypad here on the side you can't put it up against any walls on this side here or um, it's going to be quite hard obviously We now have the Summerwave 70 plumbed to the spa. So, all the pipes run in parallel back to the spa, tucking up through that panel and around to the front of the controller. So, the water circuit now is it comes from the filter box down through the plumbing, into the circ pump, out of the circ pump, around to this top pipe, into this valve set. Now, you can either divert it back through that middle valve here and back to the spa, or shut that valve, open this valve, have it run down, long plumbing here into the bottom connection of the heat pump out of the top connection of the heat pump back along the plumbing back into the spa back through the valve back into the main plumbing 
up through and returning into the controller from where it would be temperature sensed and controlled and returned to the spa. Also the heat pump is now dynabolted to the ground with the rubber feet underneath. On all four feet I've left appropriate room to be able to see the gauge and for the radiator here to breathe. The keypad is accessible, power cable is ready to be fitted to a power point in the wall that will be soon fitted by an electrician and the electrician to run wiring up into the spa. Last but not least, after fitting the heat pump, come in and undo these screws. We need to disconnect the heater tube. So the heater tube power is uh, just a single plug so anyone can do it. Make sure your spire is isolated. In the case of this it's not wired in yet to the house. We are looking in here at this big black plug down in here. There's a little tab on the top. Push that. Give it a gentle pull. And that should come loose. That's, it's as easy as that. Tuck it back in here nice and safe away from any of the other electronics. Cover back on and that's completed.